So I'm heading out here and I cannot wait to find out the results of my experiment I did yesterday. You know, I was doing some more reading online last night and I'm kind of thinking maybe I was kind of crazy thinking this might work. I don't know. There's a lot of people, you know, like a few discussions where there's been mixed um, results with this. So we'll see if it actually works or not. Hi-ho, chickens. Well, this water looks clear. Doesn't look like there's any ice in that one. Obviously needs to be changed. I think our nighttime lows got around 20 to 22 around that area last night. Now we'll see how this worked. Oh. That one's got ice over it. That one's froze really solid. Okay, this is the bucket with the two cups of salt in it. And it's frozen pretty solid around it too. And then here's the, the bucket with one cup of salt. And it's frozen pretty solid too. So I have to say our, our little experiment really doesn't work. The bucket without the salt water bottle in it had ice about this thick on top. The one with two cups of ice had pretty much the same amount of ice on top. The one with the one cup of salt in it had about the same amount of ice. An interesting thing about this is there is ice down the sides of the buckets that had the salt water in them. But there is no ice down the sides of this bucket. There was just the ice across the top. So I guess it's going to be back to breaking ice and carrying buckets of water to the birds every day when it's cold. And then the water inside the barn didn't even freeze last night either. So the other day I went and got some feed for the chickens and I was too lazy to unload it when I got home. So now I've got to unload it so I can feed the chickens. I've got my little helpers following me. Watching me and making sure I don't do anything I shouldn't do. You guys need to go down by the barn, okay? You know, now that I think about it, it does make sense that my salt water experiment did not work because salt lowers the freezing temperature of water, but it doesn't generate any type of heat or anything. So naturally the water inside the bottle is gonna not freeze, but there's nothing outside the bottle to prevent it from freezing. Now I did read where somebody used a milk jug and filled it about half full with salt water and then put it in their stock tank so that way it floated. And then that kept their stock tank from freezing over, but it wasn't so much the salt water that did it as it was that the, the jug moved around in the water and the movement is what kept it from freezing. I think out of all the chores around here, unloading these bags has to be the worst for me. 
In fact, I usually have Brooke or Michael or somebody else do it, but today it's me doing it. <clears throat> I tell you, our hens will lay anywhere. I always forget to come out here and check this little corner here, but there's always a little nest of eggs. I wonder if there's anything under her right now. Oh, there's one and there's a broke one. She's gonna go back over there and lay. Wow, the turkeys are feeling adventurous tonight. So what you guys think of that? We just hope our line is strong enough to support the weight of them. Watch it snap. <laughs> I hope we don't have to call the electric company to come out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey now. No roosting on cars. Get off. Shoo shoo. Go away. Getting on cars. You're get asking for trouble on that one. Get down. No. One fell down. Oh, they decided they weren't going to sleep up there after all. Well, that's a good thing. Now get down. 